Today we're going to look at researching the problem. So I'm just going to go through the PowerPoint. There's uh, six slides that we're going to have a quick look at. And we're going to talk about the assessment criteria as well. So researching the problem and solutions to similar problems to identify and justify suitable approaches to the solution. Um, so what does that mean? That means that if you were going to do something like uh, a booking system for a hotel, then you should research to find people who've already made some sort of solution to this, whether it be an app, a website, or something else, some other paper-based system, any other system that it might be. Okay. So um, next, next one we'll be doing is describe the essential features of a computational solution, explaining these choices. So you're going to identify the real essential features of your product or your proposed product, hopefully based on the research you've carried out. Explain the limitations of the proposed solution. We are students in a secondary school. We're not going to make something necessarily which has got every single aspect that a commercial product would have. Partly because you're working in a school and there's some things you can't do, partly because you don't have enough time and so on. Okay, uh, and we'll discuss that. So um, we're going to go through and uh, look at each of those in turn. Okay, so um, I'll let you read this bit yourself. Uh, I'm just going to stress one thing about research findings. You should have researched the problem, uh, alternative solutions, ideas, and so on. Um, I do expect to see some Harvard referencing uh, in your bibliography. I've discussed how to use Neil's toolbox before. Identify and justify approaches based on this research. You need to identify things that you think, oh, that looks good. I think I might include something similar. But then you need to say why. Yeah, you justify in order to get the higher marks. Okay. Um, and so on. I'm just going to move on a little bit just now. It might come back to this in a second. So the OCR report to center. There was a range of approaches to the research of existing solution. At the top end, the candidates had taken time to gain a significant insight into these solutions. Where possible, they had used them. Where not, they had reviewed documentation, watched videos on their operation. Okay, and that meant that they were, they were able to reference the key aspects of the uh, systems they wished to replicate. Good quality research naturally lends itself towards good quality objectives. If you don't do good research, you're going to have a wishy-washy pro project and you won't know the direction you're going in. So the first task, research, okay? And it says there in the marking scheme, uh, research the problem in depth, looking at existing solutions to similar problems, identifying and justifying suitable approaches based on this research, okay? Carry out exhaustive research to find existing solutions to similar problems. Have you identified features that you would include in your product and justified that. You can even uh, identify some features you think, well, I, I don't think I would have that. I, it, it had that in this one. I, I don't think I'd have this because, okay. Um, and the three bullet points at the bottom, not limited to internet research. Yeah. If you were doing, for example, the computer booking facility, you, you should be looking at what is used now. You could look at alternative paper-based solutions, anything at all. Images of products would be beneficial, whether that's screenshots or taking photographs yourself, whatever it might be. Update your bibliography. Make sure you get that done. If you don't do it when you're actually doing the research, you won't do it and it will not be good. So that's task three, research. Task four, features. And it says there, identify the essential features of the proposed computational solution, explaining that ch the choices. Okay, so now you're starting to identify the features that you're going to have in your program. Okay, um, you should include an explanation of the feature so the reader understands what the feature is and its purpose. This is not a list, this is a detailed list with significant explanation. A justification for the inclusion of this feature within your intended solution. It would be beneficial to include your client in this section they will have ideas as to features they consider essential as well. So if you can, this is the time to start touching base with somebody saying, can you be my client, da da da, and so on. Um, what would you like in it? I have to say, sometimes the, the client, the teacher perhaps, will not really understand everything. They might ask for things that are too complex. Um, 
but they might, once they get on board, they might give you really valuable insight. So that's features. The final task in this section is limitations. So identify and explain with justification any limitations of the proposed solution. So you're going to say, okay, I'm going to build you this, but due to the time constraints or my knowledge constraints or hardware constraints, it's not going to do this or this and this. Okay, so your product might not be a complete solution to the given problem. That is, you might consider that a commercial product would have more features. You should clearly identify the limitations of your proposed solution. Here, you will discuss features that might be expected of a complete solution that you've not included. So identify things. Don't be afraid to identify things that your product doesn't do. But you do have to justify or explain why these limitations exist. Explain why you have not and cannot embody a specific feature and why you think that's acceptable. Okay, that is the six slides that we've discussed here. I'm just going to have a quick look at the success, the uh, assessment criteria now. Okay, so um, here we're looking at these three rules, and I'm hoping that you are um, using traffic light system that I mentioned before. For me here, if this if this is me, I'd think, well, I've I've got to do this better. Okay, identifying features and so on. This top bit here, I've got to I've got to spend more time on that later on. But right now we're on these three rules. Okay, do really have a look at this. Take your time and have a look at these things and uh, make sure you've hit the points. Traffic light it for yourself. I will be asking you for this. Okay, traffic light it and make sure you've got it done. You can see this one here, for example, identify some limitations of the proposed solution. Then have you described those limitations? Have you explained fully and explained and described just means it's a little bit more detailed. Yeah, explain the limitations and then explained and justified. So explained and justified, okay, I've explained it and now I'm gonna justify, here's why I cannot do this and so on. So working from left to right, make sure you've hit it. Get yourself um, a decent um, structure to your Word document as well, okay? Um, and here, what, what I did on this one is I've just got a copy of the, the specification there. And the specification right now, we're doing 3.1.3, researching the problem. Okay, and uh, I found the headings in here that I thought were important. I mean, you can see limitations jumps out the screen there. Yeah, uh, researching problems and solutions to similar. Yeah, that kind of stuff. So research findings and you can start to see my uh, my documentation there. So that's what we need to do for this one. Um, I do expect to see quite a few print screens in this. Um, you know, quite, quite a bit of work, but not just don't just give me print screens. You have to discuss things. Okay. You've got to make sure that when you're doing the research findings, that's that's a biggie, okay? And I expect you to find three or four or more um, similar things that are available, okay? And print screen them. Yeah, definitely print screen them. Don't start explaining about a website that does a similar thing without print screening it. But don't just give me print screens. Give me some real detail, okay? Best of luck, and that is this week's task.